So you're curious what the most quintessential surf town is here in North County, San Diego? Well, today we're going over exactly that. We're gonna go over what it's like living in Encinitas, California. My name is Alex Volari. I'm a real estate agent in San Diego County, but most importantly, I'm a valuable resource for anyone looking to move to, from, or within the San Diego County area. At any point in this video, feel free to pause and write this number down right here. You can call, text, email, whatever's easiest for you. I wanna be your resource when you move here to San Diego County. And if I can ask one more thing before we get started, go ahead and tap that thumbs up button. Let's the YouTube gods know that there is a valuable video here on the platform and it helps spread it to people just like yourself looking to move to, from, or within the San Diego County area. All right, so now let's get into it. Living in Encinitas, where the heck is Encinitas? Encinitas is about 25 miles to the north of downtown San Diego and it sits in between Solana Beach and Carlsbad, California. Encinitas is actually made up of five fantastic neighborhoods. Cardiff by the Sea, which is in the south, Old Encinitas, New Encinitas, Lucadia, and Olivenhain. So each one offers something very unique and individual to those neighborhoods, so it really depends on what you're looking for. Going from the downtown section of Encinitas, that would be Old Encinitas. Old Encinitas is really basically right along the 101 highway and it's really the lifeblood of Encinitas as a whole. Pretty much all the cute little coffee shops and boutique shopping, awesome little restaurants all right there downtown in old Encinitas. If you go to new Encinitas, that's gonna really house your big box retailers like your Walmarts, your Targets, Home Depots, things of the, that nature, um, and more of that suburban feel. Now, if you're looking for a beach cottage or expansive mansion, or something of that nature, you're gonna wanna venture into Lucadia or Cardiff by the Sea. Those two areas are definitely the prime areas for your newer construction, close to beach proximity, and the cute little quintessential beach cottages. Also, if you're looking for a place where you can still have chickens and you might want a little bit larger lot, you can venture into the neighborhood of Olivenhain. Olivenhain will be a little less expensive than the coastal parts of Encinitas or even Village Park will have some um, more inexpensive housing there. So either way, no matter where you're looking to go, Encinitas has everything from cute little beach cottages, giant mansions, and even properties where you can still have chickens and horses. Where else can you do that in Southern California? And just to add a little bit more value, you know, majority of the affordable apartments or townhomes are kind of sprinkled all throughout the city. And those really attract the first time home buyers looking to move here to Encinitas. The median home value here right now in Encinitas, we're looking at $1.958 million for a single family detached residence. The vibe in Encinitas is really laid back. It really embodies what California surfing culture lifestyle is all about. You go down to Old Encinitas downtown along Highway 101, so you have a ton of surf shops, a ton of great little restaurants, and a lot of boutique shops. So you really can't go wrong when you are in Encinitas looking for what most would classify as the traditional California surf culture. So you can also go into New Encinitas if you do need those big box retailers and a more suburban feel. Now Cardiff and Lucadia are definitely the prime spots in Encinitas, California. There you'll find these fantastic cute little beach cottages. You'll also find you know properties that have been torn down and built up to these extravagant beautiful beach mansions. Um, you know, and those price ranges range really drastic. Now keep in mind that a lot of Encinitas does have viewer rights. So if you're looking to build up, you might want to check with the city planning because a lot of the San Diego County areas do have view rights and you don't want to get caught in a pickle when you're trying to build your dream home with an ocean view and now the city says you can't. So as far as elementary schools go, there are nine elementary schools in the Encinitas, entire Encinitas city. There's also two school districts, Cardiff 
by the sea has its own school district within Encinitas, although it is part of the Encinitas city. I will say that Cardiff and Lucadia areas definitely tend to have the more desired schools within Encinitas. So if you have a little one that is in the elementary school age, you might want to be considering moving to Cardiff for the more desired education system. If you're someone that lives in Encinitas and works downtown or needs to commute out, um, you know, you, you're essentially going to be able to catch the 5 freeway or the 101. The 101 is a beautiful drive, but you do have tons of traffic lights. So if you're not going too far, if you're just going to you know, the surrounding cities, that's a good option to get to and from work. If you are going downtown or you need to commute a little bit further on the, the highways, you have the 5 freeway. Now, I will say that in the mornings, it's fine to commute. You're, you're totally solid. If you're trying to commute home, let's say from downtown at rush hour around 5 p.m., it's going to take you some time. So where you could get to work within a half hour or so, it's going to take you possibly an hour or two to maybe two and a half hours to get home on the five freeways. But why not just take the coast highway, get the good views, especially in the summertime when the sun's up later, get the good views and enjoy the vibe. Why not? But really all encompass Encinitas really embodies what the California surf culture is all about. It's very friendly. No matter where you go in Encinitas, it's a beautiful location. There's tons of vegetation, great people around. You know, you drive through Encinitas and you just have a great, fantastic vibe that warms you as you drive through Encinitas. You know, that's where I want to settle. And I really think it is one of the gems here in North County, San Diego. So if you've got any value out of this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Ow. <laughs> go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me. Um, I don't know why they call it a funny bone. It's really not that funny. Gosh. Anyways, um, smash that thumbs up button for me if you've gotten any value from this video. And again, if you need a resource when moving to, from, or within the San Diego County area, my number will be right over here or there, wherever it ends up. It's going to be here on the screen. Call, text, email, whatever works best for you. I got gotcha you when you're moving here to San Diego County. But until then, thank you so much for the support, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.